Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video, and in this video I'll be going over Windows 10 Preview Build 10130 and all the new features in it. So, uh, this build actually just came out a few hours ago, so this should be one of the first videos out on YouTube about it, but uh, let's just get right into the video. So, first thing I want to talk about are the uh, start menu modifications. So, right now, you got your start menu. They fixed the icon uh, for 32-bit, for 64-bit apps, the desktop apps. They're now not ugly. Um, you can, you've can. you also got a better jump list for all your start menu applications now. But you've also got the, the main feature here is the uh, ability to change what you have right here. So right now, as you can see, I have File Explorer, Settings, Videos, and Power. By default, the only thing you have here is Power. So you can change what you want to show here by going into Settings, then going to Personalization, and going into Start. And can, as you can see here, you've got some various start options, and you can customize which places to link to in the list. And you can turn on whatever you want and turn off whatever you want. Here I've got File Explorer settings and videos on, because I use those the most. But you can turn on downloads and documents. And then, as you can see, we've got downloads and documents. Now, uh, videos and, you know, anything other than File Explorer and settings don't have icons yet. So that's why they've got those placeholders. But it's good to see that the functionality is there. So moving on, I'm going to talk about the biggest change in build 10130, and that is the new icon pack. So there are new icons all over the place here, and they can be found mostly in File Explorer. So as you can see, the actual File Explorer icon is actually brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and boom, here you are. Okay, so let's, let's take this. I'll show you guys this one at a time. So the new File Explorer icon is this one, or it's in the top left as well. So Quick Access is a star... It, it look, I actually personally really like these icons, by the way. But yeah, that's quick access, a star right there. We've got desktop here. It looks really nice. I'll actually make this bigger. How about that? Yeah, so we've got desktop here. It looks pretty nice. We've got documents. We've got music. We've got pictures, videos, and downloads. Now, what Microsoft said about this is that they heard a lot of feedback that their icons were too bland, too flat, so they wanted to add some depth to it. And you can definitely see that here. This is sort of a mix of Windows 8 and Windows 10 themes, and I think it looks really nice, actually. So it's not as flat as the earlier builds were, but it's not as bland as Windows 8, so I think it looks really nice, actually. So yeah, then you've got your medium icons, you've got your details. I just think this looks really nice. So we'll go on to the desktop, we've got documents, music, again, those are your icons there. So we've got desktop, this is the recycle bin icon. We've got the network icon, which looks pretty sick. We've got a new control panel icon. Now, we're not supposed to be using the control panel because, you know, metro settings, yay. But that's the new icon. This PC is a sick, slick, all-in-one PC icon. I've got myself a new icon there, a new, I guess it would be profile picture. But yeah, here's the this PC. I'll make it extra large for you guys again. So here are the new hard drive storage DVD drive icons. I think they look pretty cool. Some people don't like them, but personally, I like them. Here's network. Here's control panel, which, again, we're not supposed to be using. The icons here aren't changed yet. Like network, that network is a lot less appealing than this network right here. So again, it's not all over the place. This recycle bin right here is not the same as some other recycle bins in the operating system. But overall, I think the icon changes look really nice. Uh, they're all over the place. It's pretty broad. It's pretty, you know, well implemented, but it's not 100% yet, as you guys saw on the control panel. You know, just everything is a little bit flattened, a little bit. It just looks more comprehensive. I think it looks really cool, actually. But that's just me. Leave a comment down below as to what you guys think about the new icons. That's by far the biggest change here. Now some more minor stuff. The system tray stuff actually matches what you can uh, find in the start menu transparency. I'll open up something here so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So as you can see there, start menu is transparent. Looks really nice, you know, glass. Uh, glass themed, I guess you'd call it. So again, battery here now has the same theme, all these system icons, system tray, I should say, have the same transparent of view that the start menu does, which wasn't there previously, it was just a bland color. So as you can see, it's right there. Network also has the same transparent view there, and as does volume. And a notification center also got an update. 
Now, the animation is less jarring. There's no border that flickers. There's no gap in between the right side of the screen and the notification center. There is no border. I think it looks really clean, really nice. Uh, it just works now. There's no glitches. There's no animation jarring stuff that was in the previous builds. So it just looks really nice. Now, the clock isn't dark-themed yet for some reason. But overall, everything's really nicely animated. Everything just... The system tray is now matching the rest of the operating system, which is definitely nice to see. And keeping on track with the the theme that Windows 10 has in this build of unification, we've got jump, uh, we've got yeah jump lists now animated and having a bunch of transparency in them. So previously, uh, right clicking would show a white, uh, similar to Windows 7 and 8 jump list, but now they're animated, which is actually new. They're animated much smoother, much cleaner, much nicer, and they follow the theme that you have in place. For example, I have the dark theme enabled, and so it's black, it looks exactly like the jump lists in the start menu, and it's all just unified. The entire operating system is unified, I think it looks really, really nice. This Windows 10, this build, really focuses on unifying the entire operating system, and I think they've, they've gotten, they've done it. So, there are still places that you need to work on. Clearly, this should also be dark. There's, If I choose a dark theme, everything should be dark. But um, I think, you know, it's coming along nicely. I think build 10,130 is definitely good. I haven't tried it out enough because it just was released to see how the stability is. But it definitely looks nice. definitely f uh, performs, you know, at least on par with the previous build. But yeah, the icon packs look pretty awesome in my opinion. Definitely tell me what you guys think. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I certainly hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more Windows 10 videos. And yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.